Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your monthly readings for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Pisces. Pisces, please keep in mind this is a general reading for you and in case you wanted to have a private reading for yourself, you can connect with me on the email ID mentioned below and I'll take you from there. So in the energies we have the contract, man holding a heart and the temple path. Nice. And let us see what do we have in your angel answers. What do we have in your angel answers? Messages from angels for the Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Remain positive. Get more information. Helpful people. Okay. Let me also see what do we have in fairy messages for you. Sun, moon and rising. Pisces. October 2021. This is a general reading, monthly reading for October 2021. Messages from fairies. We have new home. We have sun. And we have the season spring. That's nice. Okay. So if you see your energies, the contract card says that yes, you will definitely be moving into a contract. I can see it could be a job contract and I can see that there are legal agreements between you or somebody else in your circle. It could be, you know, I can see that you're moving ahead with a lot of legal, legal aspects. And for a lot of you, it is going to be a career contract also. I can see job contract, a business deal happening. So overall, if you are waiting for any contract to happen, any agreement to happen, that is definitely going to happen in the month of October. And you know, whether you are a male or a female, you will see that somebody in your circle is very, very close to you. You are feeling affectionate with that person. And it also sends that there is a spark of love between both of you. It is an unsaid spark. You like the person, the person likes you. You both really care for each other, but you have not showed it to the person and even the person has not expressed his true feeling or her true feeling towards yourself. But then love is definitely in the air for you this October. And the temple path in the energy oracle says that, you know, the path of affirmations, the path of meditations, the path of, you know, going forward, the path of believing in the god goddesses angels i mean if you really believe into those entities it's really going to help you out getting sacred time for yourself is definitely going to help you in the longer run the affirmation is also coming the more you are getting attached to your spiritual internal being the better you are going to get the results in your external life as well and then in the angel answers, it has the card which says remain positive. So whatever is coming to your life at the moment, if you feel there are delays, it could be personal or professional, the angels have told you to remain positive. There are good things, you know, when good things are coming, they generally take time. So the angel says that it is up to you that how you are remaining positive and focused about it. And you also have a card of get more information in your angel answers this is a very very important and a card resonating with contract this means if you're going into deep into any agreement any legal agreement any contract any commitment it is important to get all the relevant information don't go for assumptions don't go what people have told you have you know critical proofs in your hand the authentic 
written proofs in your hand get all the important relevant information before moving into a contract this is a precaution card of precaution for you and then you have helpful people so when you are going through all this contact and when you are trying to get more and information relevant to your personal and professional life and the decisions major decisions you want to take it for that you are definitely going to have lot of helpful people in your aura this month it is just that you have to call out for the help and that help will be definitely available to you for the time you need you know so there are people available in your aura in your circle in your network who are ready to help you it is just that you have to call for their help and in the fairy messages you have new home it says moving is a step in the right direction for you so this new home is certainly about it's a literal meaning of getting a new home if since long you were planning to have a new home but this also talks about new job new business and because this is a general reading if you were looking for any new career new expansion this card goes for them as well that yes there will be a newness in your life this particular month and the card sun says that your sun is washed over and protected as he explores his world so this is a good card for people who are looking for family extensions and otherwise the card says that while you're connecting with toddlers with very very young kid during this time it can definitely give you healing it can definitely give you the kind of support you need in life that kind of you know the love you need in life there is something related to children with this particular card you know it is it is talking about the connection you have with your children the connections you have with your kids and it is talking about the chemistry between the parent and the kids as well so this this particular month it is important that you focus on the nurturing and the upbringing of your children as well and then you have a card of spring it says your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to blossom so wherever you put up in the world the season spring is going to give you your dream fulfillment the season spring is going to get the desired fulfill for you so be very very careful have your list ready because by spring you are going to have that dream fulfillment very nice now let us see what do we have in your weeklies let us see what do we have in your weeklies what do we have in your weeklies so week 1 we have the world that's a major arcana card week 2 you have amphony that's another major arcana card week 3 you have page of raphael i'm sorry amphony was for week 3 week week 2 week 3 is page of raphael and week 4 is another major arcana card that is the empress very nice and very powerful so in week 1 you have a major cycle of your life coming to a completion either you are ending up with a long job or you are ending up with a long relationship or you are closing down with a long business which you started off with some passion it says a very happy ending coming full circle spiritual growth and insight so you know this is a natural completion of a cycle whatever lessons you were your soul needs to learn or your soul was supposed to learn all those lessons have been learned and it's night now the time to move on to the next journey of your life now let us see what do we have in detail with this card clarifying the world for first week clarifying first week so we have 10 of cups very nice very powerful card we have the temperance that's the major arcana card and then we have page of swords so if you see the 10 of cups is a beautiful confirmation of a marriage union money coming in happiness coming in family time wish fulfillment and this is definitely related to the card of world 
a very happy ending whatever you were working hard on if you wanted to have a new home if you wanted to start a business after completing of old one or if you want to close down or leave your job for a business you want to expand you want to explore so if there is a transition which is happening that old cycle is coming to a happy ending with a very strong new powerful beginning and then you have a major arcana which is a card of precaution it says that you have to take one step at a time you have to take one step at a time don't run the card says don't run in the new situation try to take one step at a time and then you have page of swords yes for this new beginning page means a phone call a text of communication a message an email to start off with a relationship so you're going to get the message of that new beginning by first week of october so in the second week you have a major arcana card which is the empathy so out of three cards if you see out of four cards three of them are major arcana that means major things happening this month it says joy through spiritual growth be a light to others answers that comes through meditation now look at this this message is getting repeated again your own meditation your own connection with your angels your own connect with your true self your internal self dear pisces is really going to help you here and let us see what do we have in week 2 for this clarifying week 2 clarifying week 2 very fine week 2 we have knight of cups we have nine of pentacles yes a major wish fulfillment card again major card for fabulous finances coming in hero fan that's another major arcana card so if you see there is definitely going to be a moment in your love life and there is definitely going to be a moment in your professional life and the the moment is definitely going to be a a moment from some reference from word of mouth from people already in your contact so yes you will be working with some known people and you will be moving forward in personal life with known people around yourself and then nine of pentacles is a very strong card it says that whatever money is pouring on you by divine or whatever divine blessing is coming to you it is actually your own earned hard work money own hard earned efforts finances coming prosperity growth you have worked very hard for this pisces and now it's the time when you are going to get the results out of that hard work and yes the card of herophen says you have to definitely unleash the potential of the spirituality within yourself and keep on moving on the same path of same values same ethics the way you were moving on to accomplish this professional life the personal life it says not to experiment much but to move on on the set path which you have formed for yourself and then you have page of rafael it says a new emotional situation messages regarding relationships or social invitations great initiative inside yes because this month you are going to get revelations of truth the revelations of spirituality within you you are going to get a lot of psychic insights dreams you know um knowing before sensing few things before so this is known as developing psychic insight let us see what do we have in clarification for week 3 clarification in week 3 clarification in week 3 you have five of cups you have seven of wands and you have three of cups yes and the card was talking about your emotional situation and if you see out of three cards your two cards are of cups and yes you are definitely going to get some emotional experience exposure this particular week you know and maybe you you feel that things are not okay with your past relationship but you will soon realize that there's still a potential to explore there's still chance to revive the 
relationship or reunion is very much possible and then you will definitely celebrate some happiness in week three however you are getting too defensive with the situation or too defensive with the people in the third week it is suggested that you know you think a lot but you know it is very important to avoid overthinking or being over defensive so in week four you have the empress which is the card of luxury prosperity growth greenery fertility abundance it's a good news for people looking for family extensions look at the greenery it's the fertility it's the growth it's the money it's the prosperity empress is all about luxury in tarot it says time to act upon your plans creativity is rewarded luxurious or abundant resources you are going to witness abundance and luxury in last week of October. So you have Queen of Wands. You have the High Priestess. And then you have the Moon. Look at this. In the last week, you have actually three major arcana cards. And out of these two, these three cards, two cards belong to High Priestess and the Moon. And the Moon is available in both the cards. This means that this particular month is going to develop your intuition, your psychic insights, your capability to sense things happening before it could happen. You will suddenly feel, see a difference in your outlook and you will, you will be amazed to see that whatever is going to happen, you, maybe you are aware of it and it might cause some confusion to you, a second guess to yourself. Uh, you know a doubt on yourself the card is saying that trust your intuitions trust your dreams and if there is a confusion you need to trust your heart more because these are your psychic abilities getting open these are your psychic abilities getting you know making you you are that you have psychic capabilities of looking at things your intuition is getting empowered your dream capabilities is getting empowered by fourth week of October and you're getting very intuitive by this particular week and then you have Queen of Wands this says whether you're a male or a female whatever situation you're going to have obstacle challenges you are going to overcome all those situations all those you know uh, things into control with your own hard work passion and energy and let us see what do we have with your divine door messages with your divine door messages you have the odyssey you have the silent skill and then you have walk about i would like to read this card first it says your discover you discover your path is in sacred what about now look at this this is definitely talking about your sacred the temple path it says the trees are your people the earth is your tribe and indigenous lessons you find the will to survive i'm telling you the cards the total cards are telling me that you are now will be moving on the spiritual awakening of your life you are going to witness lot of spiritual insights lot of psychic inside which will open your complete outlook towards the spirituality towards the connection with your own angels spiritual guides your own guardian angels it says taken in the beauty of country lands and botany and explore the wonder like a gypsy traveler you see this means when you are connecting more with nature you're getting healing and when you will be healed you will be in a much better position and that is coming from natural beauty and then it says, silent skill, I challenge you to unpack your mind in meditation, grace the soul can unwind, yes. Since beginning, it is coming to your cards at Pisces, your connection, your affirmations, your meditations is going to take you on an absolutely new journey, prosperous growth in your life. Now, whatever challenges you are facing at the moment, all the answers lies with you becoming spiritually awakened of the lessons which your soul need to learn on mother earth so this is the time when you have to do a lot of learning 
and lot of unlearning the moment you will recognize this you know as soon as possible the better is for you so dear friends that was your detailed reading for the for my dear pisces friend out here and i shall be starting off with financial readings for this month very soon thank you be blessed and i'll see you next time very soon